guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing a world overview of Simla Isles and this is one that I have seen as a request on what world overview to do next. So, you know, we're here, we're doing it. I was kind of looking at this and I thought that it was a different world and I think that I was thinking of Legacy Island 3 or something like that. I think I got them confused. I am not quite sure. Uh, but this one doesn't look super familiar like this part of it does so I may have played in it like once or twice uh but it looks beautiful it looks like an island paradise dream there are supposed to be dive spots and all of that so we're gonna kind of explore like I like to do uh to see what worlds you know or what houses we can start with um and since there are so many I can only assume that some of these are gonna be available unfurnished only because that is usually kind of how it goes. I kind of want to start over here at these houses that are kind of off by themselves. Let's take a look at these. And I'm also using the sim that I didn't create, but she was a story progression sim uh, that came out and I saved her and just kind of remade her for my current household. And I made a video on that. So if you guys want to see it, I will leave a link in the card and you guys can watch that video for yourself. So we're going to look over here first because I feel like these will probably be available to be purchased unfurnished so or furnished um oh there's really no choice here that is weird I don't think I've ever seen that before really wait a minute what is unfurnished well unfurnished and furnished is there anything even in this house now I need to know this is very interesting okay well we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside of this house here which looks like it is completely unfurnished. It, yeah, it's totally unfurnished. Okay, so if you want a house that is totally unfurnished, which this looks like, oh, wait a minute. May, hold on. Is Am I crazy or is this not a house from Moonlight Falls? Like, does this not look like a Moonlight Falls house? The, hold on. I feel like this is in Moonlight Falls. Like, I really do. I feel like it just got changed a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was in Moonlight Falls. Like, the style in the inside, it looks like the house that I usually go to is the first house. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like that one is unfurnished, and I bet you, yeah, it looks like all of these. Actually, this one might be furnished, it looks like. Okay, but not by much. So let's take a look and see what's inside this one. Um, okay, so there's, like, a little area back here. Let's see, is that the only thing? Yeah, so the only thing they added was, like, this little dirt area which I guess is for like planting things uh so it looks like these three houses are going to be totally unfurnished but I'm going to go ahead and show you oh maybe not maybe not there's a little something something in these last two houses and I'm not quite sure what this one has but we're going to go ahead and peek inside okay there's a little bit this one is like partially furnished and by partially, I mean, it's pretty much like I mean this area is empty but you know it, it's a good start it's it's a start so this one is kind of kind of cute, not gonna lie. Uh, I do like how it looks. It's totally fine. Uh, so yeah, that one is furnished. So basically these two are unfurnished and this one is partially or mostly furnished. So let's go over here. Now there are a lot of apartments here and we're not gonna go through all of them because that is just way too many and we'll be here forever. Which uh, if you guys are new here, you probably should grab a snack because I like to spend a lot of time on my world overviews and kind of look at a lot of stuff, like probably more than most. So, all right, so this one looks like it is not available furnished. I'm gonna try to look at the ones that are available furnished, which this one looks like it is, but I don't know if it's actually going to have anything inside of it. So let's take a look and kind of see what we got going on here. Okay, well, what's going on? Okay, yeah, this one is totally unfurnished as well, which kind of sucks because for someone like me, I like things to be somewhat furnished, so I kind of have an idea of where to place things because I'm not a builder or decorator, but, you know, maybe there's other people, there's definitely people who have talent and <laughs> can furnish us no big deal, and you're probably thinking, girl, what are you even talking about? I know exactly what I would do with this. See, I wouldn't because I don't understand how to do any of that. Like, I get it. Like, I get it, but it's just not what I'm good at. Uh, okay, so this one is unfurnished. This one looks like it's going to be unfurnished. Man, are any of these going to be? Okay, let's check out this one, the Candleton apartment. And let's take a look inside here. Because it seems like this one will be furnished unless you choose to not have it be. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 
I'm definitely getting my Sims Realty vibes. Like the colors, the way things are laid out are very similar to all of the My Sims Realty worlds. And I always know what is in a My Sims Realty, Realty world because they're very, you know, they have the same rugs and stuff like that. But this one is furnished and it is a two bedroom, which is kind of nice. It's It's got a nice little start to it. And one day I'm gonna remember to download that mod that someone told me about for the quicker elevator. And I need to like put that in my mind so I can do it right after this because I do love apartments. I just hate the elevators, so. This is a kind of nice little starter here. Let's see, this one is gonna be unfurnished, but it looks like it will be furnished. And I'm curious to see what it would look like if you know you maybe cheat your money and decide that you don't want to start out with no money. Um, ooh, I love this color, the green or teal or whatever it is. This is really pretty. Okay, this is, this is pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. This is a pretty cute, I'm not sure what is making it so expensive maybe the washer and dryer and then the fancy tv i don't know it just seems like it's not like super fantastic for it to be you know that expensive okay so we have this one all right we're gonna check this one out and then we're gonna go over to the other houses that are like across the way because this is like the city life here but we're gonna look at some other possible places okay so this is almost like a well it, it is like a studio so we got the one bedroom up here then you go downstairs and you've got wait this exact apartment is in it's just like styled differently pretty sure this exact apartment is in like evansdale or storybrook county which is totally fine because you know what honestly i like it so no problem there. All right, we're going to go across the way over here because there are a couple houses I wanted to look at. So this one we would only be able to purchase unfurnished because it is expensive as fuck. So we're going to see what this one is about and then look next door. Okay, so I feel like it's supposed to be this way. Let's go ahead and look inside here. <gasps> yeah, see, this is a house that I've seen quite a few times and I really like the way they lay it out, but I usually purchase it unfurnished and then there's only like the bathroom and the kitchen and then like a bed, maybe, maybe not. And I'm like, oh yes, I'm going to remember all of this. And then I look at the blank room and I'm like, Wait, what? 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 But this is cute. This is actually, I think, one of the houses that was in Evansdale County or Storybrook County, wherever I have my current household, because out here, there were like two little of those like things for the um, like toddlers to play on. I'm pretty sure this is the same house. It's just furnished differently. All right, let's take a look at this one. This one again is unfurnishable when you first start out. Dang, I don't know where we're going to start out. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie. All right, this one is cute. Yeah, these are definitely like recycled houses, which I don't mean to say it like that, but this is like recycled houses. Like these are houses that they created and just redid. And there's absolutely no problem with that. It's just, I recognize them and I'm like, oh, I know where these are from. And it gets me excited. Like, okay, like I, there's no problem with that. I just get excited. All right. So I guess what we're going to do is maybe move in to, oh, I don't want her to move into an apartment because mm -mm 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 -mm. I want to check out some of the all right, we're going to just select this one, and I don't think we even went over it, but we're going to select that one because I wanted to kind of check out some of the community lots and then some of the houses that are more expensive that we will never probably be able to afford uh, and just kind of look around because it looks like it is pretty freaking fun. So let's take a look on the inside of this place. Which one did I select? Okay, so it's a one bedroom, but you know what? It's not bad. It's actually pretty freaking cute. I'm not going to lie not gonna lie i kind of dig it all right so what we're gonna do is kind of look around and see what we got going on here so we have like a little port over here which you could have your you know your houseboat or whatever and this is actually super freaking cute i'm not gonna lie look at this <gasps> there's a little paddle boat this little area is really freaking cute okay 
Ooh, okay, so there's a bar over here or something. Magenta Dance, that doesn't open until 5 p.m. We have a resort. We've got all kinds of stuff, which is exciting. What is this? We've got the game shop, 8 a.m. Girl, go to the game shop. And we also have a, oh, a tilt arcade. We've got a beach club. Oh my goodness, what is it? St. Bart's Pavilion? Oh my God, this is adorable. <gasps> and you can get married here. Okay, this is way too freaking cute. Are you kidding me? All right, so I'm trying to figure out where the dive spots are that are supposed to be here. Okay, so we've got one here. Oh, so we have to be, okay, I guess it doesn't say what level we need to be. So there's one dive spot that I'm seeing. I'm trying to see how many there are. Okay, so we've got two kelp forest dive spot. How cute. So we've got two dive spots. Let's see, is there any more? Three, Coral Cove. Okay, so there's at least three dive spots, which is super exciting. Um, We don't care about you, Mr. Mascot. Okay, we've got the library over here. We've got another little bar over here, fire department. We've got a Maui Pier. Oh, we're gonna go there for sure. All right, let's take a look at the inside of this place here. There's tons of computers. Ooh, and they use like the little uh um into the future things, which those are much better for me. Oh, and there's you can <gasps> wow! Okay, so you can even come here and work on into the future stuff if you want to. This is pretty freaking cool. I have not played into the future in so freaking long, you guys. All right, we're gonna go to that tilt area because honestly, that got me super excited. Wait a minute, what is this? The brown bottle? I don't care. Okay, I just don't. All right, we're gonna go to the Tilt Arcade since it's open, but the brown bottle, what is this? This is quite interesting. Is it connected with this? Is this the same thing? I'm so confused, because this looked like the Vault of Antiquity. So I guess the Vault of Antiquity is kind of where I'm confused. Hold on. I'm trying to see it's not is it not open yet i don't understand okay so uh, what where 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 is it is it underground because i think the person who creates these worlds tend to make things underground which is kind of cool and you just kind of have to like figure it out and you're just like oh, it's underground and this is cool okay so this is really fun this is like a little tilt area where you can take your photos you can grab a prize there's also a bar and you can go bowling which you guys know i love to do and she looks like she's playing some video games and then you can come outside and you can go skating <gasps> and then look at the beautiful freaking world oh my god there is there is a waterfall over here like how beautiful is this world oh my goodness i did not expect this this is definitely like an island paradise dream like if you guys can't you know get uh, isla paradiso uh, words if you can't get isla paradiso to work this is a pretty nice freaking match to do that all right we're gonna go to the brown bottle because i'm curious to see if the Vault of Antiquity is actually downstairs, which is really cool that they kind of, you know, incorporated all of the packs or maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Like when I'm playing uh, Supernatural Sims, you know, most worlds don't have things that you would want to play with Supernatural. So I really enjoy the fact that the person who does my Sims Realty and creates these worlds always thinks about all of the packs like they have different versions where you know i picked the version because i have all of the packs and i wanted that so everything from all of the packs that they decided to put in are in this world and i just i love that about the worlds that they create so i'm trying to see where where oh okay i think i do spy some stairs so is well the vault of antiquity it's over here isn't it it is. I knew it. I knew it had to be over here, but it's where, how, what? Hold on. I'm very confused. How do you get there is what I want to know. How do you get there? I want to know. So we're going to have her tour the archives and we're going to see how she gets there because I'm a little bit confused at how you reach that. Okay. We're going downstairs. I'm just curious. I got to know you guys. I'm sure you guys want to know. Maybe you don't. Um, how do you get there? How do you get over there? Oh my God, through the secret passageway? Yes, I, oh, it doesn't work? 
Oh, can we not get through there? Inspect bookcase. Let's try that. Okay, I get it. Stop stomping your foot. Maybe you need to inspect the bookcase and then you can get through there. Maybe that's what you have to do. All right, is this going to work? Because honestly, if not, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> Open door. Okay, girl, come on. <gasps> oh my god, it works! Okay, that is seriously so freaking cool. Okay, so you definitely have to inspect the bookcase before you can go in there. And I just had to find out because I know somebody probably would have asked me. Uh, so that is pretty dang cool if I do say so myself. So this is kind of a cute little area. Like, you can look out. <gasps> look at this world. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. This is cute. All right, so again, 5 p.m. for Kokomo, Kokomo Beach Club. So while we're waiting, let's look at some houses. Let's take a look around. There was a specific section of housing that I wanted to look at. Um, ooh, what is this? Rebecca's Cafe. Oh, is this like from Isla Paradiso? It is! And they even updated it so I don't have to because every time I update this so that there's a bar there. Uh, is this a house? Is this like a house over like in the peacefulness? Let's go ahead and take a look at this one because it's kind of like off to itself. And I'm kind of curious what it uh, what it looks like. So let's take a look inside here. Alrighty. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, so there's one bedroom, and I love this little area where you can kind of look out and hopefully get abducted by aliens. And then you come downstairs, and this is, like, where you can eat and also shower. This is cute! Oh my goodness, and then there's, like, another area. So it's, like, a two-bedroom type of thing. Oh my gosh, and then there's, like, a little section over here where you can work out. Okay, this is really, really cute. I like this. This is really adorable. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to close this one. And yeah, it definitely gives me Island Paradise vibes, the style of it. So then of course we have like a little port over here if you guys wanted to put like your houseboats or whatnot over here, which I love, but I'm trying to figure out where those housings were, those houses were that I wanted to kind of look at. Okay, where were they, girl? We have lost it. They're gone. I definitely want to look at these because they look really nice. Um... Where is it? Maybe I thought these were houses. I think I thought these were houses because of the coloring, but it's not. So that's kind of upsetting. But we're going to go here to Maui Pier. And while she's heading there, I'm going to look over here. We've got another bar. We've got an espresso hideout. Let's take a look at this. Is this a house? I think this is a house. Let's go ahead and look inside here. Pretty sure it is uh, an unpopulated world. So this, okay, this looks like the Americana or something, possibly from Sunset Valley. Uh, I like that there's like a bunch of beds here so you can have like, you know, a lot of kids if you want. And then we've got that. So it's probably a two bedroom. Yeah, it looks like it's a two bedroom. I, oh, I just see the camera. But I'm pretty sure this is the one from Sunset Valley. I could be wrong, but they just changed it up and it looks much better. So we like this. I like this. All right. We're going to go ahead and close this one up here. Let's take a look at maybe this one because it's kind of like on the beach, which is super exciting and or not on the beach, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like you can look outside and you see like the beautifulness. So let's see what this one is like. All right, so it's a one bedroom, possible three bedroom. I mean, you can make one an office, one a bedroom. You could pretty much do whatever you want with this. Um, and then this could probably be like a laundry area, maybe. I mean, there's not much else you could do with it unless you delete the door outside and make it another bedroom so you could have three bedrooms, two bathroom. There are endless possibilities. Girl, what do you do when you're talking to somebody? I don't even know, but this is really adorable as well. All right, so we're going to close that up. And I'm gonna take a look at Maui Pier and kind of see what we got going on and what it looks like. It's super cute. Is this like a, oh, so this is like, you can hire people and you can have the, um, it's from the, the Sims 3 story, so store, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness this is adorable too look at this and you can have like late night if you want to play you know want you want to be in a band and there's also a bar out here which is super exciting i feel like this is probably where i would come most often oh my god and then there's like another like tilt area because you can play ski ball and all kinds of games love it i wish there was a festival lot but you could add one from another world like that is <gasps> wait a minute <laughs> Let's go here. I didn't even know that that existed. I probably saw it, but I didn't even pay attention. Okay, so they do have a festival lot, and we're gonna go there. Um, oh, is this a is this a houseboat? This is like a look. Is this a houseboat or is this like Lucky Palms fake houseboat? No, I think this is a houseboat. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. I'm curious because I didn't realize there was actually one here. Let's see. What does she want to do? Win a game at shuffleboard, girl. Okay. All right, so, oh, I like this. This is cute. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is adorable. This is an adorable houseboat. Okay, I like this a lot and I'm probably gonna save it so that I can play with it in Isla Parody. So not gonna lie, not gonna lie. All right, close that one up and I wanna go look at the, is she there? Girl, oh, are you stuck? You're stuck. She's stuck. We got to fix this. Okay, we need to kind of help you out a little bit. That's kind of sucky that maybe they have to, you know, have routing issues or whatever, but I can deal with it. It's no biggie. We're going to go visit the Central Park, aka Festival Lot. Oh, we even have the Apothecary and Tees, which is the alchemy area, which I love. And then the Vault of Antiquity. Oh, you've got Vault of Antiquity over here. We have the Wolves Tavern, which is like obviously supernatural. Let's take a look at the houses over here because honestly, okay, these are definitely Island Paradise houses. Let's go ahead and look inside of these and then I'm probably going to wrap it up after I look at these two houses and then like the festival lot. Oh my god. How in the world can anyone say that Sims 3 is ugly. Like, I just want to know how anyone can say that Sims 3 is not a beautiful thing. Like, it's it's gorgeous. Like, are you serious? Do you see this? Do you freaking see this? Okay, I'm done now. I'm done. Actually, I'm not done. I need to go back to that house because I've kind of lost track of what I was doing here. <laughs> All right, I think I was looking at this one. Did I open it already? I did. Okay, let's take a look inside. Actually, I think this is the exact house from Isla Parody. So yes, it is. So they placed down one of the houses that is on land and really nice uh, to here. So that fits in perfectly. And then there is this one, which I feel like is the other one. Let's take a look inside there. I love that this is definitely like Island Paradise. Yes, it's definitely like Island Paradise vibes. Actually, I don't know if this was the other house. This one might be one of their housing this because uh, I don't think that this one is the other one. I think the other one was really, really small. Uh, so yeah, I definitely like the fact that you can play Island Paradise here if you guys can't get to Isla Paradiso. So that is really exciting. And we're going to go ahead and check out the last and final thing, which is the festival lot that I didn't even know was here. I was like, man, it would just be <gasps> like, look at this. Go back like you're crossing oh, you can't tell me this world and sims 3 is not gorgeous you just can't you will never convince me that sims 3 is ugly it's just not a thing okay it's just not a thing all right let's check out the festival lot i think we're here let's see what do we have that we can do here Alrighty, of course they have like the little performance area for uh, your sims if you want to make like a singer or, you know, acrobat and all of that. And then of course we've got the hot dog eating contest, the skating. We love it. We love it. I do love that there is a festival. I was honestly kind of like disappointed. And now this just like, it has everything. This world literally has everything, but it is an island paradise dream. If you can't play Isla Paradiso, this would be a freaking dream world 
and I highly suggest that you check it out if you haven't already. I will leave a link in the description so you guys can download it for yourself. If you guys like this video and want to see more world overviews, please give this a like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I upload, which is pretty much every day. I've been kind of not so good lately, but that's because my words have been coming out wrong and it's just, it's just like words are vomiting and it's not making sense. So <laughs> that's why they haven't been as usual, like every day, but we're trying here. We're trying here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see other worlds, because I don't have a whole lot more installed to do um, overviews of. So if there's anything you want to see, please leave it in the comments down below. I tried to download St. Clair, but the link for St. Clair is no longer there. So if you guys know a link or, you know, maybe an updated link or something, leave it in the description. No, the comments, not the description, the comments, and I will check it out and I can kind of see what we got going on there. So I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.